ARIS is a program that started out actually earlier than that with a, uh, the space shuttle many years ago. And uh, it's been with the space station ever since the space station started in about the year 2000. We have done about 900 school contacts uh, with school kids all over the world. We submitted a proposal to NASA um, based on our unique position as a science center to be able to provide space education as long with um, the radio technology piece. Hi, my name is Brianna. How do you take showers or baths in space? Over. Hi, my name is TJ. If you get sick, what kind of medicine do you take? Hi, my name is Michael. How do you use the bathroom? Over. Hi, my name is Ian. How do you work out in space? Over. Hi, my name is Keaton. Was there ever a scary moment up there in space? Hi, my name is Brianna. How do you brush your teeth in space? My name is Ardell. Is it comfortable wearing an astronaut suit? They are an aerospace magnet school, so they actually have quite a bit of knowledge when it comes to the International Space Station. We're very excited to actually get a chance to speak with astronauts. As a technical mentor, uh, I, my primary job is to work with the schools and the, the educators and the ham radio operators involved at each location to uh, explain what we need to do, what kind of equipment they need, how we can best set it up. And frankly, this one is a little bit of a challenge because of the huge building involved and some rather unique uh, uh, challenges we had due to the size of the building. Uh, would have been a lot easier to go out in the prairie somewhere and set up a little radio station and, and all by ourselves and then do it rather than have to fight this big building. We were lucky we had a bucket truck here to put our antennas up on, which helps. We've got this big building and we've got to get our antennas over it, but using the bucket truck made that a whole lot easier. Also, when things went wrong, like we had a bad cable on the, on the antenna, it made it a lot easier to bring the antenna down, troubleshoot the cable, replace it, and put it back up. What went wrong, we didn't go through uh, as much of an exercise uh, getting everything set up due to bad weather, due to scheduling, due to access to the exploration place. We weren't able to set the antennas up the day before. We had to set them up the morning of because we have to leave them outside. That made things difficult. Uh, best advice I can give also, if you've got a lot of people showing up, spend 15, 20 minutes, go through, identify who's doing what, and uh, get, sure, get everyone assigned tasks. We didn't do that, uh, and as such, we had people not able to help us get the secondary station up while the primary station was getting set up. That bit us. We had uh, one pass where we could be heard by the station. We couldn't hear the station. It was a settings problem. If we had the secondary radio set up, we probably would have detected it much sooner. Uh, but NASA got us a second pass. Thank you, NASA. Thank you, astronauts, for staying up late and working with us on that. We appreciate that. Uh, rehearse, 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 just like we do with field day. The reason for field day is to practice setting up in an emergency. When you do something like this, try to set up and go through a full-on dress rehearsal, including contacting satellite, several times before you have to go live.